polka dots, ribbon. What does that remind me of? Strawberry Switchblade has been a huge inspiration in my goth style and today I'm going to be showing you how to dress like you're in Strawberry Switchblade. Inspiration from this video comes from a video ago where I styled thrifted items and I styled this outfit that so totally reminded me of Strawberry Switchblade and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make a video about this. Basically, I started this video by buying flowers and polka dot ribbon from Michaels. I'm sure you could buy all these things online. I wanted to get this stuff immediately so I went to the store to get them. When I was telling my younger sister about what I was doing like what I was buying and stuff she was like oh this reminds me of the Ukrainian like flower shut up and it says Ukrainian flower and ribbon is the Yinovuk, a traditional flower crown that is a symbol of Ukrainian culture and girlhood. I'm not sure if Starbucks Switchblade got this specifically from Ukrainian uh, culture. Uh, I think it's in Polish culture too, but I don't 100% know. I think it's interesting because this is like somewhat a part of my culture. It's taped everything together on a broken uh, headband that I bought in sixth grade. Um, and it was like a cat headband that was like blue, but I actually painted it black when I was in seventh grade for my Halloween costume. Just taped it all on. And if you're doing a more permanent solution, um, you can just hot glue everything basically. You can put it on a clip too. But since I'm just switching out the colors of the ribbons and the flowers, um, I'm just taping it. Making this wasn't that hard, like it was pretty easy. You can see there's a lot of trad goth influences right here, like in this part. Basically, I'm gonna try to do that on my face. Moisturizer as primer. I'm gonna talk about like my personal relationship to the music. Basically, I discovered Strawberry Switchblade in middle school when I was first doing my first like deep dive research onto like goth music and the goth subculture. Some goths would recommend Strawberry Switchblade or Strawberry Switchblade would be on like goth playlists. I still really like 80s music and I love 80s fashion to death. It makes sense that I would be drawn to Strawberry Switchblade. My interests line up with it so much. I'm just gonna set my face um, with a loose translucent powder. They were probably using like a pressed powder in the little compact that they would put. I don't use that. I personally contour with gray eyeshadow, but I'm gonna do brown because these ladies definitely do brown. Put a little bit of blush on because I'm pretty sure they wear blush. Basically, it's like a lot thicker in the front and it arches like up and down. And it's kind of like Susie Sue's eyebrows. Actually, where's my other one? Where did my other palette go? I'll put it like all over the lid. I'll put it here. Gives the trad goth makeup, as you can see. It's mostly on the bottom and there's like a point that's where the this part of the eyeshadow ends and then the eyeliner is just like a whoop, whoop. And Jill sometimes put like a little puts a little beauty mark on this eye. So I'm gonna do that because I almost always put one right here um, for myself. For the hair, you want it to be huge, huge teased eighties hair. You want to do like a half up, half down situation. Things are teased up and fluffy. If you have long hair, you could probably do this or you could get a wig. Uh, 80s hairstyles are a lot more complicated than people think. Um, and most of the time people actually had perms, um, but I think Jill had a perm because she's a natural redhead. You can't really perm your hair when you have dyed hair. And I'm pretty sure Rose McDowell dyed her hair black because I think she's just a dark brunette and her hair isn't naturally black. So we just tease the crap out of her hair and um, that's what Rose would do. But with Jill, I think she might've had a perm or if she didn't, she would just tease her hair the same and basically just use a bunch of hairspray. Yeah, there's like a lot of tutorials on YouTube already. Basically, the first thing I did was look through my entire wardrobe to find everything that was 
polka dotted. I recommend going the most simple route, which is just the standard black and white polka dotted dress, something to cinch you in, a belt corset, big hair, the big puffy sleeves, and the big dress, and then you're gonna cinch it all in. For shoes, you're gonna want like a black pump or even a polka dotted pump. Also some sort of, you know, Edwardian style shoe if you happen to have that, or if you wanna go and buy that. You know, like Edwardian style shoes were actually very popular in the 80s, like in mainstream 80s fashion. It's very much not popular nowadays, but I actually own a kind of a pair like that, but it's more high heel. Rose, she kind of has like more 90s style elements. Like I feel like she was kind of ahead of her time in fashion because some of the silhouettes that she wears and she also has like PVC, like latex, outfits that she likes to wear are very 90s in my opinion. I like to do with things that um, aren't exactly shoulder padded. I use my fluffy socks and I put them under my bra strap, puffs up the sleeve. With the like tights, um, you want to wear like lace tights or even fishnet tights or just regular um, stockings, black preferably. Or you can have some sort of patterned tight that has like flowers on it maybe or a lace one that's patterned, um, that's black, or maybe white if you're doing more of a pink polka dotted situation with white and light pink. And for the jewelry, they will wear like big, you know, chunky earrings, maybe a colored one, and a necklaces that drape down, like kind of like a ladder necklace, like chain link kind of necklaces. Um, Rose will wear like a black one and Jill has like a silver-ish one. Sometimes they'll wear rings um, and sometimes they'll wear chunky bracelets and bangles. Could wear gold or silver jewelry, like you can mix them together. Also wear some pearls, they wear those too sometimes. Majority of the colors they wear is like red, pink, blue, black, and white. So basically the first outfit that I'm going to be showing you is more inspired by rose and the shorter polka dot dresses that she would wear and the makeup is more jill and then the second outfit the makeup is more like rose and then the outfit is more like jill this is the makeup look that i'm going to be doing eyebrows point like down and then the lip it's like a brown liner and then pale pink lipstick For the second outfit, I layered three different polka dotted dresses that I had. So if you can find three different like polka dotted items, you know, the top layer doesn't even have to be a dress. It could be like a polka dotted long sleeve. Just layer them like a, as closely as you can to resemble this dress that Jill wears. Layer a lot, like layer everything polka dotted that you own and it will work basically. <laughs> more about strawberry switchblade like want a more in-depth video about the music and stuff like that i'll have a video linked down below it is very helpful it's very good thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you have a fabulous day Bye.